To talk more about this, uh, we are being joined by Major General Dhruv Katoch, Director of India Foundation. Also with us on the program, Major General A.K. Sivaj, Defence Expert. Major uh, Mohammad Ali Shah, Defence Expert, also joins us on the program. And last but not the least, Major General Shashi Asthana, former additional DG Infantry, Global and Strategic uh, Defence Expert, joins us on the program as well. Mohammad Ali Shah, let's also not forget that uh, it's Rahul Gandhi who's made this statement. I don't think I can recall a single politician or a leader who has mass appeal, who has actually leveraged uh, any of his speeches or his stances when it comes to the armed forces. Uh, are we supposed to take Rahul Gandhi seriously? Whatever else he says is also, uh, you know, without much thought, to say the least. Mohammad Ali Shah, I can't hear you. All right. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, now yeah. I can. Okay, okay. Uh, see, firstly, the Indian Army is the only secular, I would say, one of the only secular, very fair, square, clean organization in the country. There is no organization which can parallel the Indian Army at all. So, any politician from any party making a statement and lowering the morale of our troops is just not accepted. Now, coming to the fact that he said it's Rahul Gandhi, not to forget that, yes, the very fact that a lot of people do not take it seriously, that, oh, Rahul, Rahul Gandhi ne bola, ha, ha, they laugh it off. But now, after seeing the statement of our Minister of External Affairs, Mr. S.J. Shankar, and other people, they have taken cognizance of that, and they have, rather, they have taken no objection to that. They have uh, put up to the Election Commission, and let's see whether the Election Commission will take cognizance of that or not. But the very fact is, he, the Mr. S.J. Shankar has also said that you know it has to be it's not something to lie to take it lying down and by and not take it seriously. It is something of national security, and national security should be of prime importance. So any politician who brings in who drags in the army's name, unpardonable, totally unpardonable. Because in the army we do not see who is Dalit, who is a who is upper class, lower class, who is rich, who is poor, which background. Everyone that's why we, we are in uniform, right? Everything is uniform. We draw the same salary as per ranks. We do the same work, same duties. No one asks for your background. That's something which is never spoken about in the army. These are two no knots. These are, you don't discuss politics, you don't discuss religion. We never discuss this beneath. We never. The very fact is now, the advisor of Mr. Rahul Gandhi, I don't know whose advice he takes uh, these advice from and on whose basis he makes these statements from. He, he knows that people are willing, are dying to catch him. So he should be extra careful. But no, the very fact is, repeatedly when you see a mistake like this, I don't know what to call it, whether one should take it seriously, whether the nation will decide that, whether they should take this seriously or not, Vineet. Mm. Good point there. And Ali, quickly, please. Right, Vineet, Vineet, the very fact is, we do not discriminate between anyone's financial background, anyone's religion, anyone's caste. We don't see who is... Ali, who is Vineet? We do not see that. We see the capability is purely on merit. Everything is on merit. In fact, let me tell you, the officers who are getting commissioned now, they are more of the non-commissioned officers or junior commissioned officers' children who are getting commissioned. The officers' children do not join the army, many of them. They go abroad or they do something else. Very few officers' children are joining the army nowadays. So there is no question about being uh, divided at all. And we all stand by each other. The only organization... Where, you know, I'll quickly conclude by saying, you know, in civil world, you find a cutthroat co competition. Here we saw Captain Vikram Batra Parami Chakra dying for his colleague. He laid out his life to save the life of his colleague. You find such in the army. You find that is the organization. My father being a Muslim officer, he rose to be the deputy chief of the army staff. So if that was the case, then that wouldn't have happened, right? It's purely no one sees your religion. No one sees your background. No one sees where you're coming from. Purely your competency beneath. Absolutely. Great point.